my friend a while back made me this this uh, flower crown. I always say I'm gonna wear it around, but I never have yet. This poem thing is a good example of what I was talking about that uh, it's more about the ideas and the symbolism first and the poetry second and quite often what I'm trying to write would almost be better expressed as like one of those mind maps that I do or like a really dense symbolic picture there's an image here and there's like ideas that I'm trying that are interesting and I'm trying to express them but very rough still and the poem definitely the medium here definitely does not very well clothe and express the uh the message but i want to keep working on this one i keep coming back to it because it it's sort of ideas that are central to my world view anyhow i'm just going to read parts of it explain the background story to it and then i did make a little mind map and i'm just going to like talk about the set ideas because i think they are interesting i had somebody tell me that i should do like a book or something of like poetry on one side and then just like prose explaining the ideas of the poetry on the other. And I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, try to play around with format and different media and yeah. Anyhow, so the background for this project was I was at like my cousin's house and in their bathroom they have like a frosted glass window with some stencils or fish shapes and like the fish shapes are like cut out of the glass like the the fish shapes are clear you can see through the, the little fish but the rest of the window is frosted and only the fish parts are like the negative image and through the fish you can like see the street and I was looking at that and thinking. Uh, I watch the street through the frosted window, through clear slits, the fins and gills of three fish. The street swims through the fish spaces. Their scales are moment and moment were the window all fish, I might see the whole street, clearly. Were the window all fish, the fish would lose themselves in each other, would die and decay, the school would unspool into glass, the window would be blind. My pupils are glass fish, uh, cutting themselves sharper and surer shapes against the edges of every moment. The street sticks, conglomerates like leaves netted in stream. I stains amber, molds its fins, steeps its hue, molds its fins, steeps its hue into the globe. I am a mosaic of moments stuck in glass. Then I tried to make it into some kind of form, which was way too early to do that, and the formal aspects inhibited the meaning of the poem even more. What I was exploring was like, it's about vision, perspectives of the world, and the interaction between to what extent do we shape our world, to what extent does our world shape us, that sort of tension. And I started titling it Essays Percipi, Percipi. I need to stop using the classical Latin pronunciation and just use church Latin like everybody else, because um, I don't even remember fully my classical Latin pronunciation anyhow to be is to be perceived is that actually the accurate let me make sure oh good it is yeah like to be is to be perceived
which by the way, that expression has evolved in my mind into to be is to be held. Doesn't quite make grammatical sense, but it adds another meaning. To be is to be, to be beheld and to be held, like held, held. But anyway, S is parakipi because it's about being and perception. Uh, and we quit clouding windows, blink and are flung, flailing into asphalt current, brace twig fingertips against tomorrow's sun. It's basically just me trying to. Time filters through the fish in a gradient, twilight gradient cut by tree branches, neurons of memory shedding leaves to the present, stretching for yesterday's sunrise. Brace our glass fingers against tomorrow's sun. Yeah. Outlines of life, the only clear place for the street to live and be seen through. We are cast out these quick clouding mirrors. Yeah. We are not so clear, we are stained amber, dark pupiled. The street sticks, conglomerates, and nets the new like leaves in a stream bend. So again, just grasping for these ideas, or the image, rather. But I just made this little mind map. Interesting stuff going on here. Um... Right, so we have the image of like the window and the fish shapes cut into it through which you see sort of little snapshots of, of the street. And one of, the, one of the ideas is that this like, were the window all fish, I might see the whole street clearly, then the fish would lose themselves in each other and they wouldn't be fish anymore. So like, and that's sort of about or honestly, the whole thread is about there being no one objective view of the world. And it's all, you have to choose a narrative, you have to choose a certain limited perspective, um, the, tr the particular, which I talk about in a couple of other videos and like the one on crucifixion and vocation. So this is really the central conceit of the, image is, is that that idea of like you, you can't just like see the whole the whole picture at once all clear like then you can only see it in sort of these little shaped moments that sort of make this mosaic that all together come together um and then comparing going from the fish set in the glass to like the image of an eye a pupil um eye as the fish or the fish as an eye like how a person will have a certain world that they experience that they that is seen through them and that they see So that's one sort of aspect. And then also the the idea of, well, I thought it was funny, you know, the, the fish are still and the street is sort of swimming through them instead of it being the fish moving through the landscape in the case of the window. But like the fish are still, this, this scene that goes through them is, is constantly changing as well as being small and like a limited window as it were. It's also constantly changing. Um, and sort of in contrast, well, it's true that we are always constantly changing in our environments and lives are, but also there's memory and memory is body and in a way we kind of are made up of our memories like these time and these moments don't just flow through and pass through, but like coalesce in us and sort of stick and become more dense. And in a sense, you could say that that's what we are. 
so like this is getting into the image so from instead of flows there's like water glass which is clear right but then also tea having stuff steeped into it amber having things stuck in it those are i me and my friend have this whole running thing with amber imagery but anyway so there's that sort of contrast between whereas the fish are just like there and stuff just running through them through them with being a perceiving being you think things stick and then this thing about glass fish fish cutting themselves sharper and sure shapes against the edges of every moment it's like we in a sense impose ourselves you know and stain and we color the world that we see also the world colors and shapes us so there's like a back and forth there between the leaves or the insects or whatever staining the fish darker into like tea or amber and then that in return staining the vision of the world that's like seen through it so those were the two sort of central images and There was another one that I was sort of thinking about, but it, it never really fit in to the flow of the rest. But it was like, I think one of the things that I had seen also through, through that window was like the gradient of the twilight sky and then tree branches sort of cutting through it, which I think is one of the most beautiful things in the world. And of course, trees are just everything and I was th so it's like this tree sort of catching at the gradient which is like slipping through it and I suppose the idea of trying to hold on to or I mean in my opinion successfully holding on since memory we do we are like made of memory, but anyway, trying to hold on to or catching, you know, that the falling sort of twilight. And that's the bit about, what was it? Bracing the fingertips against tomorrow's sun. That image was weird, like it doesn't make sense to me. I was, it was going for something, but I, I don't know what I was, what I'm going for with that. And the neurons of memory shedding, shedding leaves, you know, the leaves and the amber leaves stain. Yeah. And once with all of those layers, there's definitely like a fractal um, thing going on here that if I was, to, if and when I can do a new draft of this i i will draw out something about the patterns of the school of fish in the window echoing echoing something else also something about the tree so the tree seen through the fish window thing the tree in slash defining itself against slash grasping for that mo background of moving sky and sort of falling twilight in time being compared to the fish through which the tree is seen um in and in and slash defining itself against that moving street including the trees Plus, there's the observer of the poem who is watching all of this and whose own internal structure mirrors both the tree and the fish. And then, and then I started thinking about like Escher prints because of Gadel Escherbach. I'm sort of aware of those, but there's something like that going on with things like transforming and going from abstract to representational and like layers and fractals and mirrors. And I had also brought in 
it's the idea of like what do they call it thrownness or just sort of being thrown out into this world where stuff's coming at you and you've got to like integrate it somehow and decide what it means and we're all just what was it you know we quit clouding windows are flung into the current brace our glass fingers against tomorrow's sun i guess i was connecting that with like yeah we're flung out oh right 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 right. no okay so the fish are separate from the street in a sense right um they're just away they're just observing the street is seen through them but as a human being or as a living being at all you're thrown right into the middle of the street but are simultaneously this window through which it is seen but we're like right out in the middle of everything maybe you know like the like the trees but it's also glass fingers so i was i guess trying to combine the image of the glass and of the trees through the glass somehow um but i guess that's where that whole grasping desperately at something anything in the middle of the like flow of stuff um comes from So currently, I think that this mind map expresses the expresses this collection of ideas better than the words do. But yeah, it's the same. It's the same ideas that I'm exploring. Eyes. I suppose I could also tie in the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows concept, uh, what is it, opia, is it called, of trying to twist around and see, yeah, that definitely belongs in here, trying to then twist around and see yourself through somebody else's eyes or see yourself. Like, what is the fish's self-concept in that window? Yeah, that fits in there, too. Fun times. I like, I like this poem. I didn't make myself entirely miserable writing it, so I still, it's still somewhat fun to work with those ideas yeah there's nothing really to reread but basically uh what is it to take that verse from ecclesiastes out of context i don't know what the context is supposed to be uh he hath set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that god maketh from the beginning to the end